derivative of next inverse trigonometric function d by dx of tan inverse x ok let us find out. So, now let us suppose y is equal to tan inverse x. So, this we can write x is equal to tan y differentiate with respect to x. If you differentiate both sides with respect to x, this is d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of tan y. So, derivative of x is 1, differentiation of tan is secant square, so y, whereas y derivative is dy by dx. So, our aim is to find out dy by dx. So, dy by dx is equal to 1 by secant square y. So, here we have to write secant square y in terms of x. So, from trigonometry we know that secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. So, this can be written 1 by 1 plus tan square y. Since tan y is equal to how much? Here tan y is equal to x. So, that we can write 1 by 1 plus x square. So, d by dx of tan inverse x equals to 1 by 1 plus x square. Now, let us find out the derivative of cot inverse x function. cot inverse x. d by dx of cot inverse x. So, let us find out. Let us say y is equal to cot inverse x. So, x is equal to cot y differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of cot y. What is the derivative of x? 1 derivative of cot y is minus cosecant square y and dy by dx. So, dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by cosecant square y. So, now we have to write cosecant square y in terms of x. So, let us write it. This is equal to minus 1 by since cosecant square theta from trigonometry 1 plus cot square theta. So, 1 plus cot square y. What is cot y? Cot y is nothing but x. So, this becomes minus 1 by 1 plus x square. So, therefore, d by dx of cot inverse x is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square. Next one secant inverse x. d by dx of 
secant inverse x. So, let us find out secant inverse x. Let us suppose this y is equal to secant inverse x. So, here x is equal to secant y. Differentiate with respect to x. So, d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of secant y. So, what is the derivative of x? 1. Derivative of secant y is secant y and tan y into dy by dx. So, dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to we get 1 by secant y tan y. Here secant y is no problem we can write x, but we have to write tan y in terms of x. So, we know that tan y is equal to root of secant square y minus 1 or tan theta also directly we can write tan theta is equal to root of secant square theta minus 1. So, this we can write 1 by secant y root of secant square y minus 1. Since secant y is equal to x, this we can write 1 by x root of x square minus 1. So, d by dx of secant inverse x is equal to 1 by x root of x square minus 1. So, now let us find out the differential coefficient of cosecant inverse x. d by dx of cosecant inverse x. Let us find out. Let y is equal to cosecant inverse x. Now, x is equal to cosecant y. Differentiate with respect to x, if you differentiate with respect to x, d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of cosecant y. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1, this is minus cosecant y and cot y and dy by dx. Now, dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by cosecant y cot y. Here, easily we can write cosecant y in terms of x, but we have to write the value of cot y in terms of x. So, we have to require the formula for cot theta in terms of cosecant theta. From trigonometry, cot theta is equal to root of cosecant square theta minus 1. So, this can be written as minus 1 by cosecant y root of cosecant square y minus 1. Now, cosecant y is equal to x. So, this is equal to minus 1 by x root of x square minus 1. So, d by dx of cosecant inverse x is equal to minus 1 by x root of x square minus 1. So, this 
so far we have discussed the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. So, inverse x cos inverse x tan inverse x cot inverse x secant inverse x and cosecant inverse x. Let me repeat once again the d by d x of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square derivative of cos inverse x is 1 by root minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square d by d x of tan inverse x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square d by d x of cot inverse x is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square d by d x of secant inverse x is equal to 1 by x root of x square minus 1 d by d x of cosecant inverse x is equal to minus 1 by x under root of x square minus 1. So, next we move to the finding the derivative